caffeine. Check some just black. Let's go talk broadheads. All right, so you know last year I used the severs uh, towards the end of the season uh, for whitetail, had a lot of good success uh, with the 2.0 uh, primarily, and uh, was kind of thinking that I would use the 1.5s going into elk season this year, but sever all of a sudden did something really, really cool. They dropped the new 1.75 uh, broadhead. So, um, you know, what I'll talk about real quick are some things that are the same. I'll talk about some things that are new about it. And then what am I going to do in terms of, uh, you know, my equipment going forward. So, um, what's the same rear deploying, um, you know, just as, as all the, all the other severs, um, it has the stretch cut. So that is as it enters, uh, you know, the hide that it is uh, essentially pulling before it starts to cut. So that when it does cut, you're actually cutting a bigger diameter. Uh, it has the lock and pivot system. So, uh, you know, essentially if it hits bone on either side, uh, instead of deflecting like, you know, most mechanicals or, or mechanicals that are locked, uh, it's gonna keep going straight. Um, so I think that that is uh, a big bonus. Um, it has the same practice mode system. So uh, as the blades are closed, there is um, here, right here there's a little screw uh, that gets put in that locks the blades in place so that you can shoot them into foam um, i have shot them um, all three of these so far uh, at multiple yardage going out the long distance and it doesn't matter really what distance or what the conditions are they're flying with my field tips um, you know so i think you know if you're worried about field point accuracy i think it's just really a non-issue with these they um, in my experience and some others that i've seen um, you know, they, they really fly great, very forgiving, you know, you're not with a fixed head, you, you, you know, you've got uh, essentially veins that are sticking out on the front of your arrow, which is, is really no problem. I, I, I hunt fixed heads, um, had a lot of success with them in the past, you just have to make sure your bow's tuned and your form's on, um, which I recommend you do those even with these heads. Um, I'm certainly not saying uh, that, that you need to not care about any of those things, but you know, just in case something gets bumped while you're, you know, hiking or uh, you're uh, traveling or, you know, going through the brush. Uh, I think that if anything, these will add a little bit more forgiveness uh, than maybe some alternatives. It also has the uh, uh, titanium ferrule uh, from the others. I love the titanium. Uh, it is bomb proof, spins true. And um, as I said, so this head, this is a 2.0 actually that I'm holding my hand. It's been through two deer and multiple targets, and I can put it on a put it on an arrow and spin it, and it spins like it was brand new. Um, so those are the, all all the things that are the same. So, what are some things that are new? Well, um, the thing that's new really is it's like this 2.0 and this 1.5 had a kid, and that kid is freaking awesome. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, in the past you're really thinking about okay, the 2.0 is mainly white tail turkey. You know, you're looking for, you know, big gashes, maybe, you know, not so concerned about, you know, big penetration issues. The 1.5 is really going to be your maximum penetration, um, you know, that, uh, you know, that's the goal. Or it also could be your bow setup, right? So if you are shooting, um, you know, a heavier setup with heavier arrows, uh, pulling more weight, longer draw length, the 2.0 is probably going to do everything that it needs to do regardless of game. Whereas on the 1.5, it may be that uh, you know, you're not shooting as heavy an arrow, you're not shooting as much weight, maybe your draw length is not as long. <clears throat> um, you know, kind of the 1.5 uh, will, will kind of you know, help with a lot of that. So if you take those two worlds, uh, you know, this 1.75, the new 1.75, really does all of it well, right? So, it has, uh, you know, it's going to leave a bigger hole than the 1.7 or the 1.5, and it's going to penetrate, uh, I think, just as good as the 1.5 as well. It's got that thicker ferrule uh, as the 1.5 does as well, and I, I just really, I think you're getting the best of of, of both of the prior heads. Um, also, if you're into a lot of data and all the techie stuff, I really advise you to go watch Lusk Archery's video on these new 1.75s. 
he does a lot of testing. He scores it and tries to be, you know, data driven on his ratings. And uh, this 1.75 actually just received his highest score of any broadhead that he has ever tested. So um, I have a lot of faith in that. Um, and I have a lot of faith uh, really in what Sever's done with his head. So for me, this is gonna be my all around uh, head. I'll be using it as, uh, you know, for, for pronghorn, I'll be using it for elk, I'll be using it for deer this year. Can't, can't wait to see what it does. Um, so, you know, I'd suggest you go grab a few, go give them a shot. Um, I think you'll be very surprised in terms of uh, how they perform uh, shooting targets, but I think you'll be more surprised as you get into the hunting woods and put them to, uh, put them to work. So, as always, I appreciate you stopping by and supporting the channel. Please go like, please subscribe, leave me a comment below if you've shot any of these. Uh, how do you like them? Um, you know, I'd really love to hear from you. If you're into day-to-day -day content, go check me out on Instagram. I'm s.g.holmes. Shoot me a DM, ask me a question, just stop by and say hello. Uh, I really appreciate hearing from everybody. And with that, aim small, miss small.